Okay, Proline MT 4x4. This truck was the last truck that I bought before the Arma 1/5 scale came out. So it was literally the last truck that I bought before getting into all of that nonsense with the fifth scales and the kaiju that I bought right around a little bit after I bought the uh the first the green uh uh armor Creighton. So yeah. So I bought this thing, I put it all together and I was like, yeah, getting me a nice little car is all great and everything. But yeah, the fifth scales came out and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> So this thing been on the back burner for ages. I mean, I really didn't do anything to it. It remained completely stocked. The body, I've just painted it black and left it alone. Yeah, so I just did nothing to this truck. It, I ran it maybe twice. Yeah, I ran it twice. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, uh, it, it's done. So yeah, I ran the thing twice and left it and put it up. So it's been sitting for a very long time, collecting a whole lot of dust. And yeah, so I thought about taking it out again for some dumb reason. And I took it out and it pretty much, it was, yeah, it was so bad. I was like, oh my God, this truck is some garbage. So yeah, what did I have to do to this thing to actually make it bearable to say the least and yeah I ripped it all up so bad that I was like yeah this this truck is just not gonna work like this so what did I have to do to this thing number one when I took it out a couple of days ago yeah the spur gear was still plastic and it still had the plastic uh, diff cups, but I bought all of that the aluminum upgrades and the steel spur guy I bought all of that and I never put it in the truck So when I took it out a couple of days ago, I tore it up so bad that the center diff burnt up I mean it, it was smoking it burnt up so bad and it had that fuse hobby wing ESC in it yeah, I think it's like a one a 150 amp 6S CSC from something. I don't know what the hell it was from. I don't know what was that the the, the XL the 3XLE. I think that was it. Maybe. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the hell it came out of. But yeah, that ESC was like, yeah, I'm gonna toast this truck. So it burnt up the center diff and. Let's see what else it did in it, in the strip, and it melted the spur gear. <laughs> yeah, so I put the aluminum, all three has aluminum diff cups now, and it has a steel spur gear in it. But that wasn't nearly enough. Yeah, the, the center diff, it has 10 million weight in it. <laughs> yeah, 10 million CST. That just goes to show you just how much this truck was ballooning. Yeah, that was one million couldn't do it, five million couldn't do it, so I had to up it to ten million. And I had twenty million and and uh, earplugs waiting <laughs> just in case that didn't work. So I finally got it. So the ten million finally got it, so that the so that both front and rear wheels actually spin at the same rate finally my god i mean this thing was unloading so much to the front it was not even it, it was pathetic i mean you i mean inside that thing the the bloody dog bone if you can call it that it's like a, it's like nearly like an inch and a quarter long while the rear dog bone is yeah you can see it's long as hell so the the front dog bone is like what six times ish the the, 
the rear dog bone is six times longer than the front dog bone so you have a whole lot of power blowing to the front <laughs> i mean so much so that the I don't even know what to say about that. It's just, it's just pathetic. So, yeah. 10 million weight in the front and rear guy. Who knows what the hell it got in there. I, don't, I never even touched it since it was steering and and doing this little thing all good. It's, I don't know what. So, But, another thing that I have to do to this truck right off the back, even before I even bought the run it that second time way back when is I put the uh, put some well you can see them up in there yeah hex extensions yeah people don't like them I don't care I do I know they make the wheels turn like this you see how it's actually moving along an axis instead of on a pivot now that's bad when it comes for racing because it takes longer for the wheel to turn it actually takes longer for the wheel to turn and that's bad on your on your uh several two if it's not strong enough to be able to take that increased torque that it takes to move the whole wheel on the axis instead of on the pivot. <sighs> so, 35 kilogram servo. Way more than enough power to move the stupid tiniest 10 scale wheels. And yeah, the wheels are a little bit small when it comes to this car because the car is kind of heavy. But, yeah, I tried the Kaiju tires and it wasn't heavy. It, it, the car just behaved like a piece of shit. So, I bumped that. Put the stock tires back on it and it's all good. But thankfully the stock tires are the Badlands MX-28s. That's why I love this truck. Why did Proline have to discontinue this thing, man? This this thing, with, for all its flaws, it's like everything. It's literally everything the Stampede isn't. And the Hulse for that matter. That <laughs> It's everything those cars isn't. And of course, I'm running this thing with the old 2200 kV motor out of my actual Yeti. Well, actually, this is, this didn't come from the Yeti. This came from, I think this came from uh, Tower Hobbies when they had that sale on them for next to nothing. So I bought a bunch of them. And I think I still have all of them. That's 2200 kV motor, which is pretty much just a castle is it is what it is it's just an awesome motor and for the esc i went with the corrali and i know it don't look like a corrali but it's a corrali it's that that torx whatever the hell it is 185 amp you're right it's 150 amp we know what's going on with this thing it's a max five on that no, it's a Max 8 rebranded Hobby Wing EXE 150 amp. Awesome as all hell and completely programmed to send whatever you put this thing, put it in into like the next dimension. It's, it's probably, it's easily the most powerful Max 8 you can buy. And it's a RTR <laughs> ESC, which is, man, Crowley, this this thing right here is literally the best piece of crap y'all ever produced ever even if it is a hot one and it has the button thank you very much oh yes they should have buttons i don't care what the hell it is i can i it can be some garbage from china it needs a it needs to have a button and yeah i know hot one is made in china <laughs> okay rambling on what else oh yeah what i really 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 hate about the stupid truck is this 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 mess right here this yum yum eat him up your wire is going to end up gnarled to hell and back so 
Yeah, I'm, I gotta make a cover for that. I, I know I have the cover. Well, actually, I didn't make a cover for it. I just didn't put it in. Yeah, being lazy as hell. And I will have to take it off anyway just to show this off. Yum, yum, eat them up. So, yeah, this truck also, it wants you to put the receiver on the side right here. Yeah, stick it on there with double side attack. No. Just no. So I got me a little red cat kaiju box. Threw on some 3M Lockin tape crap, whatever you want to call this stuff. Oh, 3M dual lock. That's what it is. I have to go actually look at it since it's sitting right there. Yeah, 3M dual lock. Attached it right to the steering plate. Done. And now I have everything all nice and comfy in a little box that it don't end up getting destroyed and rained on and gunked up. And speaking of gunked up, this is a tub chassis and you will have all kinds of crap in the tub chassis. <sighs> Boy. Okay, what else did I do to this stupid truck? Oh yeah, one thing I'm gonna have to do is, if I can actually show you this, Yeah, this thing has a absolute ton of chassis flex. I mean, if you want to jump this truck, you are going to bend the chassis. And yeah, it does have that little steel shank that's running the length of the truck chassis down there. But that ain't going to do nothing. That's on the chassis. It needs something raised up higher. And I know I just put the stupid box there. And that's literally right where I need to put a chassis brace. Damn it. I'll figure out something. It's always some some nonsense going on in this mind of mine that I can actually do something with. Even if I have to raise this up just a little bit just to get something that can go from tower to tower to keep the truck from bending like a top if I actually want to jump it. And speaking of jumping, this thing is heavy. So obviously if you look at the shocks i got the the four uh i mean god damn it i mean this thing could have had a little bit stronger springs with it but it is a 10 scale and it doesn't really weigh that much i mean it weighs slightly less than an armor typhon success and that's pretty much how it drives it drives like a buggy but since it has big wheels on it, it kind of has that monster truck feel if you do up the depths right. Yeah, I know I said I got that 10 million in the center. So, yeah, it's going to try to behave like a monster truck now. And, yeah, the, the springs, I got the tensioners. They're not all the way down, but they're pretty far down to give this thing just a little bit of... A little bit of give, I mean, because when they're all the way up, this, 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 you can just touch, tap it, and it falls, falls flat. <laughs> That's just how bad the, the springs on this truck are. But yeah, they can, they can get, they can deal with it. They can deal with it. Now, for what it's worth, this car is actually pretty damn strong. I mean, I. I bash this thing around the yard just a little bit. Especially that the back area of my yard with a whole bunch of bumps and jumps and yeah, this thing been tumbling, fumbling around, trying to wreck itself, and nothing. It's still in one piece. And it takes a, a lot to survive back there. Especially with all those little trees growing in the ground that you can easily send the car 10 feet in the air jumping off the stupid things okay so hmm body body yeah this one actually came with this rock crawler body looking thing and yeah i put some protection on it to keep it from getting destroyed i also threw on some of that 
uh, yeah, I, I completely forgot what that tape was. But I bought 24 rolls of it from Amazon and it was like 80 bucks. Yeah, that that ceiling tape that people use on their uh, roofs if they actually want to go up there. <laughs> you can obviously use it for a whole lot of other stupid stuff. But yeah, I got some lights on it. Pretty bright. Red sick. So it's ready for the nightlife too. And I have to put the battery on the body since the stupid truck is so small. There was nowhere to put the body on the truck, inside the truck. So it has to go on the body and the body is kind of heavy anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Especially with all that protection I put on it. So, yeah, there's an elephant in the room that I haven't really talked about. And that's the way that this body goes on. If I put it on there, Actually, you see, I put my purple body parts in the back for obvious reasons that I'm about to get to. So, you put the body on. Yeah, I left the front the little way that there, the little stock way with these little uh, screwy tabby things that goes right on there. Now, that's awesome in the front, but in the rear, it's this goddamn cage. Now on the stock body, it's a pickup truck. So the little cabby things work great with the pickup truck body. But since this damn roll cage is in the way, I just went with the regular old body clips. Boom, boom, done. And yeah, the the roll cage even get in the way of that too but that works great okay let's get that uh okay as for the bumpers yeah that's pretty much the last thing i really want to go over <sighs> the bumpers that come on this truck are bad. I mean, bad, thin. They're as thin as this stuff. This crap right here. Yeah, that, that's the bumper. No. That's plain no. I need thick bumpers. I don't I don't give a bloody heck what the heck what the heck. Anybody say big thick bumpers. I got the front. So that it is super rigid. It can take a beating. And it kind of meshes with the with the stock bumper and if you want to call it something. Yeah. I took the whole rear off and pretty much just bolted the whole upper piece to the shock tower and the diff. Obviously, we got uh, some stuff going on down there so that the whole thing is a skid plate. And what a skid plate. Yeah, and then I put a little armor willy bar on there so it can get up. Yeah, that, that's getting up. That's definitely getting up there. Okay, so... Oh, I remember I got both of these, the Pro M, the Pro Fusion SC 4x4 and the Pro MT 4x4. I think I got both of them at just about the same time. I have two of these and the Fusion is still in the box somewhere. I haven't even put that damn thing together. When I saw all that stupid crap, I had to, I'm like, nope. Nope, nope, nope. And I got this big old crate and sitting over here ready to get ripped apart. Nope, nope. It's, it's up to this. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a shame that Mr. Uh, no, wait a minute. The, the Pro Fusion. No, I had to put one of those together for somebody. That Pro Fusion is still in the box. Yeah, I think, yeah, that one's the one that's all together already. The 
almost ready to run or the roller whatever you want to call it it don't have no tires on it it don't have no body with it yeah uh, yeah i'll put that together one of these days maybe i'll turn it into a buggy since that's pretty much how big it is it's literally the same size as a slash or the Senton, almost the same size as the the uh typhon if i put the hex and sentence on it although i might just do that and turn the damn thing into a buggy i don't know i got that thing for really really cheap i mean i got that thing for dirt cheap but yeah this thing is success capable it will never run success i will never run this thing on success it doesn't need it forest is way too the forest is almost too much for this damn thing especially these df dxf batteries these batteries are stupid i mean 120 c 100 240 c bursts this it sends this thing it literally on full punch it will send this thing up now i turned the punch i mean full throttle would have send it up like this even on punch one and i don't want it to flip because yeah that that standing back clip stuff it's nice for kicks and whatnot, but standing backflips fuck your diffs up. It destroys your diffs. It really does. And this thing is discontinued. The parts for it is almost non-existent. <sighs> so yeah, it, it's 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 not. I'm I don't feel like destroying the damn truck. I mean, I already had to replace the diff on the stupid thing once. I had to replace the front, the center diff and the rear diff because of melting issues. The center just completely melted with the spur yet that melted all the, and the, and the, the, one of the sun gears on the inside of the rear diff melted into the, the one of the ends of the the diff some kind of way and it tore all of the insides of that up so i had to replace all of that too so now all three have nice aluminum diffs that ain't gonna melt <sighs> god i mean this thing really does take a lot of torque <laughs> when it's moving and it's actually freaking easy to work on Except for that stupid inch long dog bone that's up and down. I mean, you can, it's almost possible to just remove these four bolts and lift the diff, the center diff out. If it wasn't for that inch long dog bone, you have almost no gift with that thing. So you have to unbolt the front end, the, the whole front end, you have to unbolt it. To pull it away to get the center diff out. <sighs> pro line, pro line, pro line, pro. I know I did it. There was so only so much room you had to work with with this thing. So yeah, you went techno on it. And speaking of which, this thing has just a tiny bit less space than a, a te the techno buggy. Yeah, the one I scale techno buggy. It has. A little bit less space than that thing and that thing has no space in it so how the hell you manage to fit a max uh a max 8 and a 2200 kv motor in this truck along with a box for the receiver servo this thing is actual uh, actual crazy piece of engineering and there's giant mosquitoes everywhere so i'm just gonna hurry up and finish this yeah as for the battery yeah I, it's, this is my giant 8400 my dxf battery and it fits in there dead solid perfect dead solid perfect like it was actually completely made to fit in there and this battery came out a ton time longer than this truck I mean, this, this battery came out like two years after this truck came out. So, yeah, it fits in there perfectly. <sighs> okay, so what else am I going to... Oh, yeah. 
now you know how just how old this truck is. This is the <laughs> this is the transmitter for it. Oh man. Now you know that yeah. Pro line why the hell y'all discontinued this thing? It's such it's such an awesome truck. And when it first came out, it was like 300 bucks. I mean, it, it went between three and four. I think I got this one for around 250. And I got the SC for like 220 something. I mean, those, that was, that was the cheap stuff, man. I mean, and this one, this one came with t tires and a, and a body. All you have to do is just paint off the body and be done with it. <sighs> pro line, pro line, pro line. Please come back with this truck. I mean, y'all can just re release the same damn truck with the same damn flaws and people will still buy it. Oh, yeah. Speaking of flaws, the, this truck, it comes with some really thin, crappy ass uh, henchman holders. <laughs> Yeah, I replaced all of them, but the, they actually came came out with an upgrade for thicker hinge pin holes. They were like maybe around 50% thicker than these. I mean, at one point or another, oh yeah, this is my second Pro MT. The first one that I that I bought and put was I think it was like almost a year before the Creighton. I bought that one and I was just destroying spur gears. I was bending the rear uh bending this this one this this rear henchman hole. I was bending that like absolute hellfire. And that truck that truck is you don't want to see that truck. That truck is yeah, this that's why I got the newer one <laughs> and I built it up and the crate and chain and a net is sat so the uh, the first one is sitting somewhere in pieces well it's probably not it's probably still together it just needs a, it just needs a bunch of upgrades yeah I bought all I bought three sets of upgrades for these cars yeah I bought one for the SC that have never seen the light of day. I bought one, a whole set for the the first Pro that's feeling sorry for itself somewhere. And I bought the whole set for this one, and it's sitting on sitting on the truck, ready to go. Oh yeah, that little bugger down there, that, that servo saver top thing. <sighs> that was another great issue that I had with the first one that. It's my god. Yeah, I I can remember a lot of issues I had with the stupid truck over the day, over the years, over the year that I screwed around with it. But yeah, this one, this one, it can stay like this. This this is like almost a complete product of the sins and troubles that the first one had. <sighs> Okay, so this video has been going on long enough and the bugs are starting to eat me up. So I will get to running it sooner or later, hopefully tomorrow. Well, getting to actually a running video of it since I've been running so much today. This thing is a seriously fun truck to run. And if I didn't have it completely set that I was never going to run the thing on 6S. I actually might do it. But I'm not. Nope. No success. Nope. 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 It don't need it. For us, it's more than enough for this damn thing. More than enough. I mean, more than enough. And this is the 2200 KV motor. I did have a 2650 in there, the actual castle 2650. And that was too much for this stupid thing. Yeah, it was it was way too fast. I'm way 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 too fast, and the torque really wasn't there. It just had a whole lot of speed, so I upped it up to the 2250, 
And I put the glorious Corrali ESC in it. And oh my God, this thing, I could hug it. <sighs> okay, 30 minutes, 30 minutes of nonsense. So yeah, that's my Pro MT story. Proline, I'm back with this truck. Please. Seriously. Now I gotta get away from the bugs.